What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Themes and in today's video we're gonna learn a simple, fast, effective and free way to add the PayPal donate button into your WordPress website, okay? So, before anything, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, do a comment and share with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it means to us, it helps us, so you can bring daily videos for WordPress usage, marketing, SEO, plugins, and many more topics, okay? In addition, if you need a free WordPress team to design your site, go to wordpress.org and search for Enzo WordPress team, the best free WordPress team on the planet. Now, let's go to the guide. Before you can have it started, you must have a PayPal account, okay? So you need to go to paypal.com and create your account. You can create for free, okay? Because they will ask you for enter with the PayPal account email, okay? After this, let's go to our WordPress website, okay? Once on WordPress dashboard, we're gonna move to WordPress plugins, add new. Here at the top right corner into the search plugins, we're gonna type donations via PayPal, okay? So this is the one, tips and tricks, H key and Joan Steen. Thanks guys for your great tool. This is the plugin, click on install. After installing, click on activate. As soon as you click on this activate button, you're gonna be redirected to our WordPress plugins list. From here, you're gonna be able to see your plugin in action. Here it is. You can deactivate and go to settings. In addition, in the case that you want to find the plugin settings, you can go to WordPress dashboard settings and next to privacy, you can see the PayPal donations button, plugin settings, okay? The very first thing to do, it's enter with the PayPal account, but let me read this before. The usage instruction video tutorial available for PayPal donations plugin. You can see the documentation page if you need feature rich plugin accepting PayPal donations, you can search for this other plugin. If you want to accept donations via PayPal using PayPal Fast and Easy Express Checkout APA, go to this other two. Nothing to worry about, but the message is something like a sales banner. But let's focus into this part, account setup, required fields. The very first one, it's the most important part, the PayPal account email. Make sure that your PayPal account is all okay and enter with the PayPal account email right here. You also can enter with the secure merchant account AG, okay? But only the email most work. The currency. This is the, the country that you are based currency. For example, if you are on United States, use the US dollars. I'm on Brazil, so I can go to Brazil reals, reais, okay? So Brazilian real here at the top. We have the, the Australian dollar, the Canadian dollar, euros, but let's keep on US dollar some optional settings the page style the name of the custom payment page style that exists on the paypal account profile you can enter if this the return page this is important okay after some persons making a donation let's imagine that you have create if not create one thank you page okay so let's imagine that after a donation the user gonna be redirected to some page it can be your home page or about page, but normally it's a good practice to create a thank you page in order to direct your donate your donator to this page as a thank you method. Okay. Once I do not have this page already created, I'm gonna redirect to this one, for example. 
remember this is just an example create a thank you page okay the default amount for donations we can set for one dollar for example the purpose of the donation it's optional okay you have no need to to set the purpose but you can set for example help my podcast for example help the cause sponsor the blog something like this okay the reference okay the full reference for donation optional this is good in the case that you want to know where the donation came from okay so let's imagine that you have two websites and you need to know on paypal the reference so where the donation came from so here we're gonna type now we have the donation button style okay so select the button we have the small one the medium the big and you can set a custom button in the case that you want to design our button okay i'm gonna choose this third one here is the url of the custom button in the case that you want to select one you need to apply the URL right here, the country and language, okay? So, according to where you are based, change this to your own language, okay? This is important. Click on save change. Now, let's move to the advanced settings, okay? Here you can disable PayPal statistics, team custom CSS override center button, Open PayPal in a new tab, in the case you select this. Remove line feeds. Enable these if your team or plugin adds auto style to short codes widgets, okay? Enable PayPal sandbox. Enable PayPal sandbox testing. Enable checkout language. Checkout language. You can change the language in the case that you want. The return method, we have get, default, and post. Let's keep on get, no changes right here, okay? I just want to disable the PayPal statistics. And we are good to go. Now, how to apply this button into a page, okay? We're gonna go, for example, to a sidebar because we can add this into footer or sidebar using the widgets present on our WordPress website. I'm gonna click into this plus button and search for PayPal donations, okay? Let me give some zoom out. PayPal donations. As soon as you click on it, we can type some text, the purpose, the reference. So even set this into the into the plugin settings page you can have different references for different locations so in the same website you can know where does this donation came from if you apply the reference for example this reference may be my sidebar widget okay we can change the title text and propose let me save my change into this blue button at the top at the, at the upper right side of the screen so here is our button, okay? You can see this on the sidebar. We can move this widget, okay, in the way that we want. 
by dragging and dropping this element across the widget tabs. Let me move it to the top, all the way to the top. And here is my widget. I can remove this donate title, for example. Let me, Let me refresh and update the page. And here is my button. If anyone clicks on it, it's gonna be redirected to the PayPal donation page. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress team. In addition, in the case that you are in need of an amazing free WordPress team to build your site up, please go to wordpress.org and download our Enzo WordPress team and Borderless WordPress plugin, okay? Moreover, review our blog full of tutorials and WordPress tips and tricks for a, bad site, for a better website usage and optimization. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and into the first comment for very useful sources, for example, a place where you can download design assets for free and they update the design downloadable assets for free every single week, okay? So go there, download the assets and come back here because if you find this content useful, please share it with a friend of yours, share it with a family. You have no idea what it means for us, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below. And I see you later. All the best.